and get a snowball. <laughs> and you know, it's just. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh! Seriously? Seriously? So you'd think there would be a whole lot of people ready to be tested on that first day. Well, think again. An official with the Secretary of State's office tells me just 12 people, six in Chicago and six in Springfield, went through the driving, vision, and written test yesterday. Doesn't she look so cute? She just she cute as a little cute. bunny down there in her little <laughs> snowsuit. Look at her. Aww. Whoa. <laughs> First off, <laughs> Am I being punished for coming to work early? No. I hope well, the bosses maybe. are watching know. this one. No, we can here. I will show you. Hey, it's windy. If my hair wasn't enough of an indication, standing by this flag, very windy out here. Right before we were on, this guy in a truck just went barreling down 32. I think he was trying to be cool for our camera. That's not too cool, because check out who I am joined by, a Missouri State Trooper, Trooper Justin Wheatley. And I've been talking to you a little bit, Trooper, about safety this morning. Anyone who's from the Midwest knows that it snows in December and January, but what's the most important thing for drivers to know today? And conditions like history making. Yeah, Claire, really a big deal because honestly, this is the biggest vote that many lawmakers will ever make in their entire political careers. That's because of the potential ramifications that come with this. How is this? Check it out. We're going to show you just how much snow is on the ground right here. You see where my foot is and you see it goes all the way up until here. Kids go to school and they're supposed to learn if they have an argument that they're supposed to talk things through work it out and then meet somewhere in the middle. Well, that has not exactly happened for those in the teachers union and those in the school board in Mount Olive. That's why in just the next hour, those teachers are going to officially go on strike. And I want to show you evidence of that right here. Check that out. That is all frozen right now. It is the best that it could be for the rest of the day. We are set up here on Walnut and Memorial and really no issues. The plea is if you live on the county roads, please try to get your car off of those roads. Park your car in your driveway. So once everything starts falling, because they're thinking it's going to happen around 11 this morning or noon, then they can easily get the plows on those county roads if your cars are off them. Hoping the sun is going to come up sometime. <laughs> I don't think it's going to though. This morning and uh, she can show us what's going on right now. Hey Kent, it is still snowing and you see a couple of cars going by. Some of them even have plows on the front of them. We just saw a MoDOT truck go by and I've been in touch with uh, state troopers and also county commissioners and they are just reminding people go slow if you are on the roads, but they have not heard of any major accidents. But uh, in my last hit, my producer came in my ear and said, why don't you do something fun like build a snowman? OK, Diane Duenas, this is for you. I tried building a snowman, but I only got the base, so I stink at that. And I just heard that Fred Bird was doing snow angels where we're going to upstage Fred Bird. Uh -oh. Check no. this out. I even practiced. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Ready. Yes. OK, OK. Oh, my. Oh, nice. The That's Russian what we call a snow cartwheel. Ah. And we got to get Oscar in on the fun. So Oscar's going to get a snowball. <laughs> and you know, it's just. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Um, so there was just a blizzard in Farmington. I don't know if you guys knew that was going to happen. I didn't know that oh, was going to happen. I sure didn't. It's going to be a long Holy ride cow. home for those All boys. Right. <laughs> for him. Yeah, it is. I think he's going to buy me. Yeah, he's hiding in our sat truck. Thanks, Justin. Wow. So, yes. <laughs> uh, if you need someone said, to help you get back do? at them, I will help you, Laura. But you, thank you. We'll team up later. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. We'll Good stuff. Back. Thank you, Laura. We're about to challenge Fred Bird because he's coming up next. We'll yeah, see we'll see if he can. News 4 wanted to get a sense of how those in the hardest hit areas handled this winter storm. Our Laura Hediger found out in Farmington that nine inches of snow not only hit people in the face, but it also hit them in the pocketbooks. Most of the people are just staying inside, you know, and uh, watching a little TV or whatever it is that they're going to do. A few other brave and cold souls decided to bundle up 
shovel out and slowly make their way into Farmington. 20 minutes. How long should it take you? Five minutes. <laughs> what? It took you 15 more minutes? Yes, but it was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? I love the snow. Donna Rick might love this weather, but just 100 <laughs> yards from her, the workers at Long John like Silver's hate it. And this is the first Friday of the month, so it should really be busy with Christmas and stuff, but um, it's pretty much probably a lost day. All of this snow leads to a major loss oh, of business and cake. fish for yeah. this fast Thank food you. restaurant. But the managers here say staying open on a day like this is not worth the risk. If this continues, I hate to have um, kids come out. I just don't want to risk my employees, you know, getting in. Um, it's not worth maybe making, you know, $100 to have all these kids here. I also spoke with the mayor of Farmington who tells me as this snow lingers and the temperatures continue to fall, if you find yourself without power and especially without heat, then call City Hall or the police department. Someone will come pick you up and take you someplace warm. Reporting in Farmington, Laura Hedegar, News 4.